Howdy everyone, uh, we're team number four. I'm Enrique Clarey, that's Kanish, Nazario, and Javier, and we'll be presenting you our project for the River Tree Academy. Okay, so um, right now, uh, in the development concept, uh, we established a need, an opportunity, a concept, and an eye, and, an, and how did all the concept align? So the need is 90% uh, of the people of Como are considered uh, with uh, economical disadvantages. So the children of Como uh, have, a, have a serious and real need for education. So the opportunity is the people of River Tree, uh, people of uh, their Christian organization, uh, uh, based on fundraising, and, and with Christian, with, with based on Christian ideals like lead well, work well, love well, and learn well where they want to establish a, uh, an academy where they can help the people, the children of Como have a, have a good education and a bright future. Uh, and the opportunity also, a, land, a piece of land was bought, is the Timberview View, the, the Timber View Golf Course. So it's a manicured piece of land, it's a great, it's a great piece of land in the outskirts of, uh, of, of Fort Worth. So our, our main concept, our idea, is a campus that, uh, that is combined with nature, a campus that creates spaces between the buildings for interaction, so we want the people to be like uh, to, to really get to know each other through these spaces between the buildings and then uh, with and the alignment is uh, we want modern architecture we want architecture that is uh, sustainable design where we have uh, different kinds of sunshades and other elements long lasting materials um, Texas Texas materials also we want uh, the buildings to represent a movement forward we, we don't want the, uh, like the idea uh, we don't we don't want the kids to stay uh, in the same area. We want them to know that hard work is, is, uh, is prosperous and we want them to know what's out there in the world. So we want modern international design. And then, uh, and also the, the, the idea, the, 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 also the concept is a working farm. We want to align this modern working farm with our design. We want, we want, we want to, to represent uh, the farm, but we also want to represent a movement forward. So uh, this slide just shows some stats of the, of the poor economical Situation of people of Como, also the stats of the races. It's uh, mostly mostly African American and a very low income. And these are the opportunities I explained before: the River Academy and, and the, the piece of land and the concept of alignment. So now the design. Our main design is to is uh, to create a, a campus in this area right here in this vertical area from north to south. So once we're driving through this street. Uh, in, right in the center of that, pe of that of, of the piece of land, we have we have the main entrance. So the main entrance has four important buildings. So we create a plaza right in the middle. So once you go, you you have the drop off right there, and then you move into that. Uh, you you see the most important building to the east is the church. The church has the has the the, the, the cross sign. So once so once you see the church, to right to the north, you have the big red barn. That's going to be our main congregation space. And then to the south, we have the academic building. So the main important buildings uh, that represent the, humani the humanity of the project are right in the central plaza. Then uh, the L-shaped buildings are, are dormitories. One is for male and one for female. And then right to the, nor to the north, in that area, we create uh, are the, 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 the teacher housing. There's six buildings. And then to the south, the teacher housing, six buildings. Both of them are st strategically placed near the ponds. And they have some uh, tree buffering. So the, t the people can feel like they're, you know, they're, they're happy living there, there and they, they're in the, in the building, but they feel like they have an outside campus feel. So move, moving on to the design, uh, more on the design, um, I wanted, I guess the, the design approach we took was, uh, as Enrique mentioned, was a move progression forward. And I wanted the designs of the buildings to represent uh, not only uh, Modernism, but also um, uh, you know uh, Texas architecture, uh, architecture that's native to the land, and kind of combine the two to where uh, the architecture of the site is being instilled on the uh, on the river tree, uh, the same way that the students are being instilled with ideas uh, that they are being taught by the academy. Uh, starting off with the first building in the main square, uh, the school. Uh, a lot of, uh, a motif that I used was uh, I wanted to use a lot of exposed uh, structure, maybe not only on the inside but also on the outside, uh, make it seem like it was a, a big part of the project, uh, along with overhangs uh, to create shading. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the the structure uh, runs down the wall, and that's a more common motif that I used as all 
could move into it. Uh, moving on to the big red barn. Uh, our, the big red barn is uh, kind of like a congregation space. Uh, in the normal school year, it's used more as a cafeteria space, uh, as you can see. Uh, and uh, but it can also be used for public events. Uh, the the little the salad bars and food bars are all removable. Uh, they they're all portable uh, food bars, and it also comes with amenities um, for not only just the students, but in order to become a public space, uh, as for a wedding or a, a public event. And um, the last one you know, is where is the church? Uh, and as you as you can see, I, I did the uh, I also used the the structure uh, on the interior. Uh, you can really get a sense of it in this rendering as well. Uh, and uh, you know, just to really create a really open uh, space with the materials showing uh, very plain uh, modern materials uh, onto the site. I mean, onto the building. Uh, and then moving on to the student housing the dormitories. Uh, the, the shape of the dorm really took a lot of its own based on what I wanted to do with the, as a transition point between the, you know, the public areas of the site moving on to the private uh, teacher housing. And so uh, we create kind of this wrist space with the central uh, fountain area in the middle. And uh, moving on to the teacher housing, uh, the house for the teachers kind of had their own unique design because they're, they're um, I still want to keep that modern feel, but uh, they're kind of secluded and to show that uh, they're not necessarily part of the academy, uh, you know, in the public area, but they have their own houses. Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you the delivery of physical. Uh, the land uh, is 116 acres and it's uh, roughly 2,400,000 was the cost of the land. Uh, here are the cost uh, per square foot and the cost for the, for the most important buildings. And uh, we had two phases. Uh, in the first phase, uh, we, in, the, in the first phase, one of the, the, it's, three, it's three years per phase, one of every, like one for the first phase to have the, the, the complete project working. Because we believe that once the project is working, we can have the, the, the funds we, uh, to get the second phase done. So uh, that was a very important aspect for us. Uh, we wanted the, pro the project working, we wanted to have events, that's why we have the soccer field, the sports field and all that, so we can have events for people for fundraising. And uh, now, can, uh, now Javier will explain the, the video. Hello, today we are going to present the railway trip project proposal by the group four. The project is going to be developed in that sport world Address 4274, Timberview Drive. The project is going to be developed into phases with a duration of three years each. The first phase will include a dorm, a school, three teaching housings, a chapel, red barn, roadways and sidewalks, soccer and basketball field and a pavilion. The second phase will include a dorm, Nine houses, a camping area, a pool, and a pond. The contractor will come with zones for their office or for material storage. The school will have three floors, and the duration will be 198 days. The duration of chapel will be 113 days. The red bar duration will be 96 days. Each dome will have three floors and the duration will be 283 days. The kitchen house will have two floors and the duration will be 58 days. Thank you for watching our presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. okay. After this the video, we have the schedule of the project. Uh, or
idea is to develop every building with a logic.